Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Brian, also known as Mitch Checker on Twitch. That's twitch.tv forward slash Mitch Checker. And this is my new YouTube channel, at Mid is Tubing, where I'm gonna be putting a bunch of random stuff on this channel. But one of the one of the things I'm gonna try to do is put some quick, short, easy, simple how-to guides uh, to kind of help enhance your streams. So there's a lot of things that I've personally wanted to find out to integrate into my my stream channel and whatnot and cool little features and effects to make things more more cool or, or easier things like that and sometimes you you come across a little bit of difficulty in finding that kind of you know information on, on the internet so um, I felt like this was an opportunity to make a video for something along the lines of this kind of topic and today what we're going to be doing is we're going to show you how to integrate your Spotify uh, music into your Elgato stream deck so you can easily manage your, your Spotify functions whatever it be you know play pause um, you know go next song go back a song shuffle the playlist what have you so there's a lot of features you can do uh, so what we're going to do to get started is I'm going to actually switch over and you'll see my stream deck app here on the uh, screen and I've got a couple keys already plugged in in my 15 key deck uh, but these last three I'm gonna save for the Spotify feature so to get started you're gonna have to install a free plugin from this deck store and what I did is I just come here to search and I did Spotify and then there's a plugin called Spotify integration by bar Raider and you're gonna install that so as you can see I've already got it installed so I'm not gonna click on that again um, but bar Raider actually has a couple of other cool uh, plugins that you can use that I leverage and, and I'll get to another video down the road and show you how to use those so um, but I totally recommend bar Raider stuff so let's exit out of there and I know my camera's a little bit in the way but you can see on the right hand side this is the drop down list of all the functions or the hotkeys you can put in your deck with the Spotify um, in, uh, plugin so but for me I like to keep it simple I just usually do these top three play pause previous song and next song so let's just come down here and drag it over to the center um, key and a window is going to pop up here and this is going to be the setup right here so what you're going to do is you're going to click on get started but before i do that just a forewarning for y'all folks um you need to have spotify premium for this to work so if you're your spotify accounts in the free version this unfortunately will not work for you so anyways let's get started and as you can see here there's two fields that's going to ask you to to, to paste in here um, you're going to need a client id and a client secret and the steps to obtain this information is here in this click here link uh, but i've actually got that up already so what i'm going to do is i'm going to open it up but before i do that i think i have a little bit of confidential stuff showing up real quick so let me let me back up and there we go okay cool so let's remove that image so the client ID and the client secret, that's confidential. You don't want to share that with anyone. That's why I've got some pictures I'm going to pop up on screen just because I'm not a good editor <laughs> with videos by any means yet. And I hope to get that skill, you know, down the road. I hope to develop that skill. But for now, this video will, will get you what you need to get it going. So um, let's go to the top. And these are the steps, right? So this is the... Uh, the first step here, you're gonna have to open up developer.spotify.com forward slash dashboard. And I've actually got that tab open up here. So I'm not gonna click on that. Um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna create an account, log in with your, your Spotify account, and then you're gonna create an app. And then you're gonna come down here, give it a name for the app. Um, and you're gonna accept the terms and conditions, create the app, and then this is where you're gonna find a new client ID and a client secret. So once you create it and click on the app itself, it's gonna take you to this dashboard that's got a black background on it. And you're gonna edit the settings first, because you're gonna need to plug in a, a web link to make everything work. So you're gonna take this in step six, copy this localhost 4202 link. So I'm gonna copy that now. And you're gonna edit the settings, plug it in the website field, and then the redirect URIs or URL, yeah, URI. So I wasn't sure what that was for a while. Um, you're gonna put it in those two fields, come and click save, and then that step's done. And now you're gonna have full access to your client ID and your client secret on the left-hand side of that, um, that dashboard page once you click into your app. Um, so what we're gonna do is I'm actually gonna put those web images up now, again, because we're gonna go to this, this page and I don't and as you can see it's it's blurred out you won't want to share that with anyone so let's do that um, actually let me get rid of that second image just so y'all can see what I'm talking about so I have two apps to manage my Spotify this first one is for my six key stream deck and the second one is for my 15 key deck and that's the one I'm using now so let me put that image back up Boop. 
and you're gonna click on the app. Oh, by the way, here's the create an app function right here. I apologize. So click here, create the app, give it the name, accept the terms, create, and then boom, it'll show up here on this dashboard in these, these big green boxes. I don't know why they're that big, but anyways, let's come here. And it's asked me to log in, let's see. Okay, cool, I think we should be good. All right, cool. So on the left-hand side, like I said, this, this image is in the way, but you got my client ID here. And then you click this green link here. It says show client secrets. So like I said, I'm not gonna go that yet. But remember that web link we, we copied? We're gonna paste it in here. So as you can see, there's the website field. And then right here is the redirect URIs. So I'm gonna paste it in there, click add. And then there's nothing else to do here. So let's click save. And actually, I'm gonna get rid of that that bottom image because we don't need that anymore. So I'm gonna come over here and copy and paste my client ID into these fields right here. So uh, I have an image for that coming up too because I'm gonna paste it and I don't wanna show you all that stuff. <laughs> so just bear with me real quick. Let's, um, let's control and copy. And now I'm gonna come down here, open up that third image. Let's, um, let's pull up this tab here. I'm gonna paste it in. Okay, now I'm gonna come back over and show client secret. And I'm gonna copy and paste that as well. And now let's minimize that. I think we're done here, so. And then we don't need that second image anymore, so cool. Um, but as I said, the, the Power Rangers, you know, is in front of the two fields for client ID and client secret, so I'm just gonna paste it in there. And then I'm gonna click next down here. And if everything worked, you should get a, another tab that says success. Bingo, we're all set, cool. So now that that's done with, we're gonna close out of here. And as you can see, the the, the deck is now integrated with Spotify. So you got a new icon here, uh, but I like to change this up. So actually, if you wanna customize this particular icon, there's a couple features down here that you can do, but I'm not gonna go with that. I'm not gonna do that. I like to keep my stuff consistent. So I'm actually gonna go to my stream deck icons that I've downloaded over here. And I'm gonna find the one that has a pause play picture right here. There you go. And I like to give it simple names, play pause, just so I don't over, you know, throw myself off in midstream and try to remember, oh, what does that button do? So let's just bring it down. And then you gotta select the device. And this is my PC, so I'm gonna do that. And we're all set. So if you ever, for some reason, want to disconnect your Spotify completely from the deck, you just come down here and click revoke and that will disconnect everything all together. So let's keep going over here to previous song and I'm gonna bring next song over. And then let's just go change the title and I like mine in all caps actually, previous song. Nice. And then, so since I already selected my desktop as the device uh, in over here in this play pause, I don't have to do it again in these in these other icons uh, for the Bar Raider app. See? Okay, cool. So let me go to my icon files and I'm gonna find the previous song one. Right there. And same thing. Let's do it for next song. Change the font. And then let's come down here to that, set from file, change the icon picture to the next song. Bingo. All right, so now let's test them out real time. I'm gonna play and I'm gonna push the play pause button here on my stream deck and the music should stop. Awesome, let's play. Now let's go forward a song. Let's click next song. Cool, next. All right, now let's go back. Previous song. And seems to be working just fine. And this was the first song we started on the video with. So as you can see, it works. Um, but that's it, folks. That's how you integrate your Spotify account into your Elgato Stream Deck. So if you got a Stream Deck, this is a great tool. Um, and by the way, Big shout out, big thanks to Bar Raider for some cool plugins. Uh, there's a couple more I'm gonna make videos on how to use that. So the next one I think I'm gonna do is, you know, how to manage your voice filters and trigger them on and off from OBS Studio into your Stream Deck. So 
Um, but other than that, like I said, this is my new YouTube channel. It's a little rust, rusty, rougher now. Uh, but at the end of the day, um, until I, I acquire some, you know, video editing skills uh, somewhat, you know, this is how it's going to be. But at the end of the day, it's just, uh, you got the information you needed to get what you want. It's, it's, it, you know, I, I'm not good at talking either, but, um, big shout out as well to Stream Beats by Harris Heller for providing this free DMCA, uh, this for DMCA free music. Um, so you have no worries about getting copyright strikes on your YouTube videos or your Twitch stream. So, um, I'll put all the information to the Stream Beats playlists and the Bar Raider, um, Twitter and Discord in the description below. So if this video, while it was a little rough and edgy, um, if it helped you out, it was a straightforward, you know, inf informative video to help you with your Spotify. If it worked and it was easy, please give me a thumbs up. Get, get help me get this channel up and running off the ground. And um, for more quick and easy, very simple how-to guides for managing your streams, um, be sure to subscribe to the channel as well and turn on that alerts notification thing so when the next time I make a, a video like this, it'll be out. So um, thanks again, guys. I apologize for the lack of quality in the video, but I hope it, it gave you what you needed. So um, take care, guys. Enjoy the rest of your weekend and uh, let's get it.